Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sonip Sky, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to dual boot Pop OS 24.04 and Windows 10 11. So, let's get started. So, first of all, open your web browser and go to Pop OS official website and download the 24.04 ISO file. Currently, it is in beta, but the process is same once the stable version releases. So, you can make sure of that. So, let's download pop os iso with nvidia because i have an nvidia card so if you don't have nvidia you can download the normal version and after that go to another tab and search for rufus and download the latest version of rufus and after you have done that close your browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 gb and please make a backup of your pen drive first and after that go to your downloads directory and then open rufus now select the pop os iso file which you just downloaded earlier and click on start this will make a bootable usb for pop os and once you have done that close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management now right click on your local disk c and select shrink volume now give at least uh, 50 GB free space for pop OS so I'm going to give 70 GB of free space and then click on shrink now close disk management and reboot your computer so that we are going to boot into pop OS live environment Now while your PC is restarting, press the boot menu key to open the boot selection menu. So this key may be different according to your laptop. So select the USB option from the list and it will boot straight into the Pop OS live environment. So just boot into it. So finally we have booted into pop os live environment and this is the cosmic desktop 
so first we are greeted with the installer so let's select the language and click on next Now if you are installing pop os on a new drive separate drive then click on click install but since we are creating a custom free allocated space we are going to select the custom advanced option and proceeding Now identify the disk where you install created a free space for pop os so as you can see this is my 256 gb ssd and this is the free space so first click on modify partitions now by default it should auto select the disk with free space but if it does not then you need to manually select the correct disk from this option now select the unallocated space and then right click on it and select new now give the new space as 1 GB which is the 1024 megabytes and make sure the file system is fat32 so this will be our EFI partition for pop OS so we are creating a separate EFI partition so that windows does not mess this up and after that use the remaining free space as the root file system so you can leave all options as it is and click on add now select this tick option and it will start making those partitions now close gparted And if you wait a while then you will see the newly created partitions right here so as you can see this is the EFI partition so select it and use this partition as slash boot slash EFI and make sure to format it as well after that select the root partition and use this partition and format it as well now after that click on erase and install now set your username Now it will start installing pop os and this may take a while so i am going to fast forward it so as you can see the installation is complete now select restart device Now while your computer is starting, press the F2 key to open the BIOS menu and make sure that the pop OS has the highest boot priority if you want to boot into pop OS first. So and after that save and exit. Now by default the pop OS uses system deboot so it will boot into pop OS directly without showing any boot menus. So if you want to switch between the OS you have to press the boot selection menu each time at startup to switch between operating system and select windows. There is also a workaround to make system deboot shows the boot selection option just like in grub. Now I'm going to show you a workaround for dual booting windows with system deboot like in pop os so for this you need to open your terminal and so first you need to type sudo lsblk to see the list of drives in your system and you need to identify the windows efi partition from the list so as you can see this is the drive where I installed pop os and made a free space for pop os and it is usually the first partition of 
the drive where Windows EFI partition is located. This is usually 100 MB, but since I made a custom 1 GB for Windows, it is showing 1 GB, but it, in your case, it might be 100 MB. So this is the partition that you need to take a note of. So in my case, it is NVMe 0 and 1 P1. So first we need to mount this partition. So first I'm going to create a directory to mount this partition. So I'm going to type sudo mkdir slash mnt slash windows and I'm going to mount this partition in that directory so I'm going to type sudo mount slash dev slash nvme0n1p1 which is my windows efi partition block and I'm going to mount it into slash mnt slash windows so Let's check the contents of that directory. So type sudo ls slash mnt slash windows. So as you can see, this is the content of the Windows EFI partition. Now we need to copy the Microsoft folder from that partition into the partition of EFI partition of pop OS. So for this, type this command sudo cp dash r slash mnt slash windows slash EFI slash Microsoft so we need to copy this folder Microsoft folder so make sure there are no slashes after the folder name after Microsoft and after that type slash boot slash EFI slash EFI so we're going to copy and paste this folder right there so if you type sudo ls slash boot slash EFI slash EFI as you can see we have copy pasted the Microsoft folder right there now we need to edit the system d boot loader file. So for this type sudo nano slash boot slash efi slash loader. So first we need to check the contents of this directories to locate where the loader conf is located. So as you can see it is in the loader folder so type sudo nano slash boot slash efi slash loader slash loader dot conf so by default it is using the pop os current file so we're going to add timeout here so just add timeout and then seconds so i'm going to give five seconds and then press Ctrl plus O to save and Ctrl X to exit. Now let's reboot to check if menu shows up or not. So I'm going to cross it and let's reboot. So as you can see we have this menu to switch between OS so we have already booted into pop OS so let's reboot to check if Windows is working or not so I'm going to select Windows So as you can see we have dual booted pop os 24.04 and windows 10 so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you did please leave a like and subscribe thank you